Web 3.0 has become one of the most talked about digital trends of the decade. But you may be wondering what exactly is Web 3.0 and how will it shape the fintech industry? Can financial companies leverage the changing internet landscape to future-proof their business models? So let's jump right in. The most simple way of explaining Web 3.0 is Web 3.0 is the third generation of internet services for websites and applications that will focus on using a machine-based understanding of data to provide a data-driven and somatic web. The ultimate goal of Web 3.0 is to create more intelligent, connected and open websites. Instead of users interacting directly with web pages and applications, data on Web 3.0 is much more interconnected. Not only do users interact with applications, applications and devices on the web also communicate with each other creating a more open and intelligent internet. If we break it down to the history of the web, Web 1.0, which was the first generation of internet, was a one-way street where the information flowed from the website to the user. Navigation was not easy, but altogether a breakthrough for its time. Now let's fast forward 10 years, and we transition into Web 2.0, which unlike Web 1.0, was a two-way street of information with the user becoming an active participant in creating content on the web. It can also be called participative social web and is the current web version we use today. There are speculations of when Web 3.0 will be transitioned to, but it is expected to take just as long as the transition from Web 1.0 to Web 2.0, which was 10 years, if not longer, to fully implement and reshape the web with Web 3.0. Web 3.0 is an internet where all devices in our lives are continuously connected and communicating with each other. Data will be connected in a decentralized way, unlike Web 2.0, where data is stored in a centralized storage location. Web 3.0 users will be able to interact with data through the use of AI and machine learning. This is where the blockchain and cryptos fall into the mix. Bitcoin was the first concrete example of blockchain technology empowering individuals with alternatives to centralized monopolies. Money in the digital world is nothing more than data and what blockchain does is it makes trustless data verification possible. What this means is that you no longer have to trust banks to make sure your accounts are accurate. Instead, a decentralized network proves that all account balances are accurate. This type of encryption method can preserve privacy even if data is stored on an open network. Blockchain technology allows secure ownership and sharing of data. An example is instead of Facebook or Google harvesting your data and selling it to third parties, you can theoretically hold the keys to your own data and only allow access to who you choose. The applications on a social interaction level are huge as users will no longer need centralized platforms like Facebook as mediators between people as they can now interact directly with each other via open platforms where they can choose how their data is used and potentially profit from it. With the radical changes that Web 3.0 will bring, one of the largest impacts will be on the financial industry. The integration of high-speed internet networks with financial services has already enabled the transition of the banking industry from paper and branch banks to digitized and network banking services, and is now fundamentally revitalizing the delivery systems banks use to interact with their customers. Advances in technology are allowing for more convenient and efficient delivery of financial services, but the fintech industry is yet to board the Web 3.0 train in a fully-fledged manner. Emerging fintech companies have already started using machine learning, a type of artificial intelligence that provides computers with the ability to learn without being openly programmed. If you would like to know more, please see the description below. Companies like Affirm, Lending Club, Cabbage, Bloomberg, Binatex, and Fingenus are leveraging the power of intellectual web to disrupt financial services in different areas like fraud detention, lending, predicting bad loans, building credit risk models, wealth management, insurance, payments, bill reminders, and savings. The new generation of web, or Web 3.0, is more connected and intelligent enough to think outside of the box, to understand the user's context, call it personalized, as the combination of user experience with smart agents can now allow small and big fintech companies in delivering personalized financial service with lesser human interaction. Fintech startups are deploying automated financial advisors and planners to assist users in making financial decisions 
at a low cost and better profitability. Some are offering digital and wealth management advisory services to lower net worth market segments. There are already smart wallets that monitor and learn users' habits and needs, allowing them to alter their personal finance spending and saving behaviors. Data-driven AI applications are being used to make better informed lending decisions, whereas trusted financial social networks are allowing users to find other users willing to pool their money to make loans to each other and to share in investments. If one goes by the disruptive manner in which fintech startups are deriving its benefits to take down the four walls of conventional banking, the elements of a transformational story seem to be clearly visible. We are already witnessing an increasing legitimacy from the regulators and mounting trust from customers for the financial services. This new breed of startup is not only disrupting the existing banking and financial service space, but they're also paving the way towards shaping an enhanced, efficient, and advanced financial ecosystem. In the past, when you transferred money to somebody, you needed a trusted service like PayPal or a bank to make the transfer. With blockchain networks, you can now transfer money digitally to anyone with an internet connection on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. But the changing internet landscape doesn't end there for financial services. Open financial protocols that anyone with an internet connection can access could revolutionize how we interact with financial services. For example, investors can lend directly to borrowers via decentralized peer-to-peer -peer lending pools using digital currency. This enables anyone across the globe to access funding while proving new opportunities for investors to earn yield. Additionally, the ownership of any asset, including stocks, bonds, real estate, and cash, can be tokenized and represented on a blockchain. These assets can then be traded directly between individuals, democratizing access to financial markets. What's more, the data integrity provided by blockchain technology eliminates the need for trusted third parties to verify things like identity, proof of ownership, and proof of funds. The new digital financial trends born out of Web 3.0 could result in an increased efficiency for financial service companies that are willing to embrace decentralized technologies and provide access to new customer segments that were previously difficult to reach. A new era of internet and finance will be born and disrupt all traditional industries as we know them. What are your thoughts on Web 3.0? What do you think will be the biggest impact on fintech? Or what other industries do you think will be radically impacted? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear your thoughts. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so not to miss out on more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.